Hi, it's Olga and today I'll be showing you how to create a realistic stained glass effect on your cards using my favorite medium – glass drops. I'm starting with a white card base and I'm rounding its corners. I'll be using uh, these Gothic window dies by Poppy Stamps. We'll need uh, three window casings and two lacy insets. Now I have to adhere my intricate die cut right, on, right onto the card base. I like using liquid glue. It's convenient, it's inexpensive and it's super strong. But you can use any type of adhesive you prefer. Now to the fun part. I'm applying some generous amount of the medium onto the area that I want and uh, then I'm using the piercing tool to spread it until it touches the borders of a die cut. The raised lines of a die cut uh, will help keeping our glass drops within the borders. Then I'm proceeding with the next color, this is amber. and um, It's the same process, squeezing it and spreading it. I can also add uh, some more medium for more dimension if needed. I'll repeat the same steps with the next section. If uh, there is an air bubble, I just pop it with the same tool. I keep adding more colors. This whole process is very similar to basic coloring. Any intricate dyes will work for this technique. Just uh, fill in the small sections with the colors that you like. Now I have to let the card dry overnight in a horizontal position. Another technique you can do with glass drops is glazing. All you have to do is just give the die cuts a rather thin layer of glass drops. I'm applying it right from the dropper tip bottle. Then I'll have to let those letters dry too. By the way, this technique will also work great with the chipboard embellishments. And here is the look of the project after drying. Glass drops are extremely glossy, but unlike enamel dots, they are also transparent, just like the real stained glass. I will use the acrylic block to line up the letters, and then I'll stick them down one by one. This is walnut stain distress stain and now I am going to use a spatula to remove a dabber tip from the bottle. I'll be using Pilot Parallel Pen, it's a fountain pen, to write the rest of the quote. This device is meant for washing the pen, but I'll use it just this once as an ink barrel. I'm going to draw some pencil lines. The height of the letters will be one eighth of an inch. This pen has a flat nib, so I don't have to apply any pressure to make thicker or thinner lines. It all depends on an angle. In other words, uh, the pen does a great part of calligraphy job for me. All I have to do is to stay within the lines, try to make the text legible and not to rush. The video is sped up, I'm moving much much slower in fact. I 
Now I am returning the excess ink back in the bottle. I like how distress stains work with the fountain pens. When the stain is completely dry, I am erasing all the pencil marks. I am going to stick another window die cut on top and this will hide all the imperfections. Now the white lines are totally crisp and clean again. I have made a triple layer window casing and I am putting it on top. This wild stone texture at the background that you probably have noticed is actually an unsuccessful experiment. I didn't like how it turned out, so I moved all the elements to a new card base and this time I'm going to adhere some stitched leaf die cuts to create a textured background. Now the card is finished. I really hope this tutorial was useful and please check out the close-ups at the end of the video.